you didn't see the vein here. So the only way this makes sense is if you know 100% vein is going bot to the wave. We don't know 100%. So you engaging with Rengar here is just like a big fucking waste of like just resources and time where you could just be like running to lane, right? If you know vein is like, let's just say you had a ward in that brush and she's in that brush. Of course, like this might be good. This might be legit good because it's like a 3v2 or 3v1 or 2v1 for a period of time, right? But what I'm saying is, like, there's no info that we have on that. So, like I said, Vayne shows now, thankfully, after you've already made the decision to engage. You should make that decision, decision, like, when she shows, right? Does that make sense? Sure. Because, like, this can easily, like, yeah, you have to, like, you have to flash and stuff, and you actually die for it. Like, maybe Zed gets a double, but in another game, this is going to be different. That's all I'm saying. So, thankfully, it works in this one, bro, but in another game, it won't. Sure, but end result is good, is what I'm asking. Yeah, end result's great. You think that's worth? Yes, end of course it's worth. But like, you didn't, you did not know that was going to happen until you saw the vein, right? Like, no one can assume that. So, vein showing there is just the key detail. I don't think you yeah, should I ever like go near Rengar. Yeah, that's it, bro. That's it. That's all I'm saying. Like, the end result, of course, it's good. But um, I just want you to know 100% it's going to be good when you see vein. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What actually happens like in this game? Do you like win lane or? Um, no, unfortunately not. Okay. We uh, we get pretty unlucky. That's why I said if I actually ran Scorch, it would actually be good. Yeah, I think like because Comet Scorch is uh like good here, no? You think it's better Cause... than Electrocute? Because Vayne, well, you can just contest Vayne on like so much um CS, right? Like you can actually almost like bully her in lane. I think like Victor. I know it's a little different, but Victor mid is, like, fucking annoying for some champions if you run, like, air and scorch. Like, he's very good at, like, bullying champs out of lane. I think you have opportunities to do it against Bane. Um, Electrocute, I can kind of understand, but... The problem with, like... So the thing that I've, like, definitely mm -hmm. learned, because I've, I've heard of, like, how bully-ish Victor can be in mid lane, but mm -hmm. the thing i found is that I more than often not have to use my abilities to, like keep the wave from being constantly perma shoved under tower because they just have like better auto attacks than me that that was just that wasn't even we're gonna we could skip that <laughs> i think i was if i remember correctly that was brain yeah, yeah i'm just i'm just like letting you um letting you talk i don't normally me. miss those kinds of minions like that yeah it's fine i think here try to like press the vein with an auto attack if you know she's got bone plating and just save q that's all i'm saying so don't waste q here on her bone plating just try auto attack all right right and you can save so Q to help you see us. Isn't bone, bone plating doesn't proc unless it's the second auto attack. Uh, what do you mean? Like it, it does the full damage regardless because bone plating only does reduce damage on the second attack that you deal. I guess so, so but like you can save Q here to like help you see us or maybe even slide precious Soraka, right? Like you want your Q. Like you'd rather proc with auto, right? You just want to save Q. Yes. This looks all good. Um, what did you do here? Like you tried to E yeah, okay, so like it kind of puts you in an annoying position because when minions are like this, like ideally you want to um like you obviously like Q one and then auto attack next, right? Like a bunch of times. Um and yeah, you Q in the minion wave here is or Eing it, like probably isn't favorable because it just pushes the wave too much, right? So try to like avoid well, it's it and already just like, pushing, right? It's already pushing, but if you push it like harder than you should, um, the wave's gonna be, like, way closer to their tower than, like, it should be. It's just, like, easier for them to play, right? Like, here it's just about putting them... You think I should them... auto-shove this? I should just... No, like, you gotta stack. as long as possible and then push? Yeah, you stack this because it's on your side, right? If this was on their side, 100% you shove. But because it's on your side, you can stack one more. Yeah? Gotcha. But I just want you playing, like, beyond the wave here. So I don't know, like, why Thresh against a level 1 Soraka. I don't know like what the go is like he's just standing so far back and you've got a massive wave like i get it the veins three but you should be looking for like just a pressure right especially when diana's here like we should be where do you think you two should be like even thresh and definitely you should be more where should be where my mouse is probably right even yeah even further right like if soraka has to run back she can't stand near you here and again like this might mean we deny this minion maybe gold maybe experience right gotta move with the wave here um, I mean, even if Diana's yeah. not here, I'd just tell you to do it. 
Jungler just being here is a luxury. That's all it is. It would just be like the cherry on top of the cake. He played 2v2 pretty much all the time. The only the only jungler you worry about is like this. That's it. And I don't think you're ever going to get ganked, right? Um, and yeah, we didn't get ganked. Yeah, like fucking Rengar's not going to gank it's you. It's pretty hard well. for Rengar to gank Thresh. Yep. Um, okay, so this wave, like, what do you what do you think you should do here? This next one. Um, well, it's we gotta we gotta crash it then because it's on their side. Mhm. Mm so what does a crash mean? How how do you like crash this as efficiently as possible? Just constantly auto tag. Yep, just go nuts, right? So this damage from Soraka, you shouldn't even care. Like you need to tank it. You just hit these minions. You can eat it. Hopefully, like if you eat the minions in vain or Soraka, it's doubly good, right? It's just a two in one. And yeah, yeah. we just shove. And yeah, you're just standing like so far back. I don't know why. Like Soraka standing there is just super troll. Like I didn't even know why Thresh doesn't just fucking sprint and try fly. So yeah, how you how you're gonna play slow push, bro, is like hell important. Like in terms of where you position, and then when the time to crash comes, as soon as this like minion, this melee comes to lane here, you should be auto attacking it before it even like collides with your minion wave. Like honestly, like here you should have auto attacked it already if you're standing like ahead. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if you zone them properly, like off this wave, so you can auto attack this minion here. Like, why why auto attack it so far back? <laughs> and the vein, like getting free auto attacks here, like Thresh should be pressuring or something like that. So if your support's not doing anything, ping them, ping for assistance, mm -hmm. ping something. Yeah, communicate. Like you are a duo. Okay, so eventually we shove wave, which. Isn't really like the quickest, but hey, at least you um crashed, I guess. Base is good. What'd you buy here? Like Amptone, Dark Seal, or some shit? Okay, boots I think here. It was boots, Dark Seal. Oh, Amptone. Amptone's fine, right? Because it makes Lost Chapter like easier to get. Don't mind it. Yeah, I try and back and get uh, boots, Amptone, Dark Seal a lot. Mm hmm. Yeah, I don't really mind boots. Um, I just like boots when you can buy them full. Um, because yeah, you can probably like spend the 300 gold on a dark seal, you know, but again, it's not going to fucking make or break a lane like this. Mm -hmm. Okay. So they reset. That's actually like hell smart from them. I can't believe they've done that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is good. Again though, right? Like why so far back? Like what are you scared of here? Scared of Rengar coming from the bush and wrapping around. Okay, so how can you prevent that before you even show on the wave? Put a ward before. Right, so just go ward. Don't show and then ward. You just go like this. Put a ward down on that corner. Don't put a ward down here because Soraka will come back with control ward, most likely. So it's wasted. Put a ward, like, on the corner. And if you're, like, scared of Rengar, you can fucking almost stand, like, here, like a human ward for yourself, right? That's what, like, good supports will do a lot of the time. Or just stand here so they will see the Rengar come. If you're down here... It's trouble for you, right? Because he's got so much time to get in this brush. But if you're here, right? That's the only distance you need to go, yeah? Yeah, it was more of a... I realized my mistake post, and then I didn't have time to ward, because usually when you show up in lane and then you go to ward, it, it's like, okay, they're already there. They're just waiting for you to ward. Yeah, like, they, yeah, but he I might be in tri -brush. That mistake quite often. Mm-hmm. So that's it, bro. Like, when you come back... This is great, by the way. Like, I didn't say this because you actually do it. But, um, yeah, you looking at the wave state here, it's excellent. Like, you know where it is, and you know it's going to push back to you. Um, But you also know that Thresh is on, like, a bit of a roam here. So it just makes sense. Even if Thresh was running bot, you can still just cover yourself. Or if you don't want a ward, just ping him. Like, ping question mark around bot try brush. Yeah? Yeah. That's it. You're just covering yourself, so you can actually play 2v2. So yeah, just like focus, man. That's it. That's it. And like you standing so far back here, maybe it's justified, but you can still stand here and auto attack. I and mean, if Rengar does gank you, at least you have Q, right? You putting two points in E, I like, because you had to crash. Or maybe you hit it after the crash, I can't remember. Um, but yeah, if you have to crash, man, like two points in E is obviously good. I'm sure you know all this shit. Um, and yeah, you can probably get away with like not even, not even E-ing here. Right? Like, that's two CS just gone for no reason. Just because we didn't ward. But I don't even think you have to ward. I think you can just last hit from the high side. The Soraka's AFK, she's not doing anything to you. Yeah? Yeah, but what if Rangar walks from, like, Vision to... 
Like, he could walk around the dragon pit side and then go into, like, the top bush and then just walk out. And then so, I'm dead, probably. You mean what, like this? Yeah, and then if he cut, like, if I stand where you're saying, like, he can probably hop to me or just walk out and then, like, they all just, like, if they're standing um by the flag yeah. on the screen and I'm standing there and Rengar's standing there or walks to there, that I, I just saw that, that I'd be dead there. So yeah, yeah. The sort of bot side. Yeah, you might be in trouble. I'm just saying now, just because you haven't warded, that's the best option you have. Or you just ward here, right? You can still maybe like come back to water, but yeah. then you might miss a couple of CS. So it's, yeah, like this situation is just a little annoying just because you don't ward like coming back to lane, bro. That's it. I'm just saying from this point onwards, like it's probably just better for you to stand like a little high and the last hit from here. And I don't think you have to use like any cooldowns because they'll become even more important if you do get ganked. Your Q shield might like save mm -hmm. you. Rather than just wasting them like for no reason here. So you have tier, maybe that's a reason to use them. But because the situation is a little scary, I think like cooldown usage is important here, right? And level four diff here is big. Like fucking this is um And Rengar is bot, see. So that ward would have been like nice. What the fuck is going on here by the way? So they're running after Thresh and then Vayne just like headbutts you. She doesn't respect me. It's yeah, I don't, common, I don't really. A common scenario in ADC Victor land. I also think, like, her taking, like, you taking a ledge cute, don't you have to, like, kind of rely on her in a way to headbutt you like that? To I make the room work? I didn't worth? take a ledge to, like, trade. I took a ledge to burst whoever we attack, like, for Thresh to all in. Do you think you can is... ever kill someone, though, like that as Victor? Like, all in them? Like, early well, game? Like you'll see. <laughs> And I think if I took another early game combat rune, we would have been able to, but I don't know. Uh, you'll see, and I guess I'll just listen to what you think. <laughs> okay, no worries, no worries. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's not a com whatever. What happens here is not a common scenario, but also like me playing with Thresh is not very like normal either. Thresh is like. What are the best supports? Like what? Nort, Leo. Uh, yeah, Nami's pretty good, um, Bard, Karma, ca basically characters that can also, like, like, that have presence and can push and, like, bully at the same time. Yeah. Engage might... supports are fine, but, like, if they pick something like, like, my worst matchups are, like, double AD range, like, if they played, like, Ash, Draven or something, or... Center and shit, know. right, yeah. Yeah, Senna is not that great. Yeah, okay. Yes, yeah, so you want really like pushing. bad because she distributes like way too much damage and then also like distributes my damage onto other people because she can heal people as well and Yeah, the healer she's just going to sustain through shit. So yeah, she I understand. basically yeah, spreads the Um okay. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Um that's why like I'm saying man, I think Victor's identity is not a let's cute. Like okay, like you have a bit of burst, but I think it's more like if I was against Victor Karma I'm going to get a bit of AIDS if you have Comet Scorch. The lane's going to be fucking annoying. Because, um, like, it's just poke, right? Or if you're yeah, playing, like, Victor Ash or something. I also because of uh, Soraka, mm -hmm. and I just knew that there was no poking her out, you know? She's just going to land a Q on Thresh because Thresh is going to stay in in a range. Maybe, like, though. If he was playing, Maybe not. like, a more further back character, I would commit. Like, if we had a Zerath or something, I would commit to the poke, but because he's playing, like, a... Like, literally, I would say that Soraka and Thresh have the exact same, like, ability ranges. Maybe Soraka's a little bit more, uh -huh. like, a little bit further away, if you get the Q right. I mean, think but... about it now. Like, this is just free first strike, no? Free first strike lane. True. Yeah, this was probably a good first strike lane, but... That's that's why, like, I love I Storm, because it just... Because... Yeah, you think it is, like, more worth... Like, that's why I said I love Storm, because you're going to scale for free, I just right? wanted to commit to the early game. Harder. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm, I still think your early game, man, is going to be good because, like, yeah, if you take maybe Comet Scorch isn't like optimal here. I think First Strike's fucking great. Um, but, uh, but yeah, you can, you don't have to like win lane by all inning or whatever it is, right? You can still like hard win lane just by poking them out of it, which I think you can probably achieve here. Um, true. Yeah. There, there's different ways to win a game. I don't think your identity as victor is all inning. Um, like you said, like an extended fight, Vayne's going to win. So I actually think it's just better to poke, and if you think the poke is redundant because of healing, then first strike should be just easy. Especially when it's short range like this. Um, This E, by the way, do you think it's good? 
Yeah, I just didn't want the tower to... I didn't want to crash the tower, so I just tried to push down some of the minions' HP. When would you A like this? I wasn't if... even really aiming for Vayne. I was... I mean, I was aiming for Vayne, but I my target was mainly to get at least four of the caster minions to... Because in yeah. my experience, this wave is way too large for me to handle. I can't... It is, but like, okay, so... Let's just say we deleted every champion, right? Do you think the wave will, like, stay here? No. It's gonna push. Okay, so, like, how quickly do you think it's gonna crash? Like, 15 seconds. You think it's gonna crash that quick? Actually, like, if no one's here? No, it'll be, like, 25, maybe. I reckon, bro, in, like, two waves it will crash. Another two waves. Honestly. This is close to being, like, just a, an actual full freeze. Now, maybe there's an extra couple of minions here, I understand. But you can always just, like, damage them when you want to, you know? The only way, mm -hmm. you, like, the only reason you would ever E here is because Vayne is going nuts and Soraka is using cooldowns, right? So you want to match their damage. Because if you match the damage, the wave stays here, right? Makes sense? Yeah. So the only reason, like, you would ever just E through minions like this is because you want to keep the wave in this position. Because the fucking wave is so good for you. So why do that? Because now, maybe it pushes back to them. Well, honestly, this might now not be a freeze. Like, seriously. How? If I just keep auto- or if I keep last hitting as normal, how could it ever freeze? Uh, w what are you saying? So you still think it, it can freeze after this, or...? Yeah, because don't you- you, you can't- a freeze mm -hmm. breaks on three caster minions, but I only yes. hit four of them, and there's two still- there. so there's four- there's still six alive, and I only damaged four of them. So we, I, I made sure there was two caster minions still alive. Okay, that's that, that true. Are getting like knocked down by the cannon minion and stuff. That's true, but I just think like when you damage them like this, you have to last hit them now. Because if you have yeah. three casters, they all have to be full HP, right? So if we calculate, fuck, this is getting so technical. <laughs> but if you like, if you calculate, like let's just say, let's just say that's a hundred HP, right? So that's a hundred HP. So if you have three, it's going to be three hundred, right? Like three casters. The combined HP of, like, the rest of them here. Okay, it might be, like, fucking close to 300, but there's no way you knew that, and it's way too close, right? Mm -hmm. does, does that make sense? It might sound a little weird, but you've damaged them oh, to the I, point I now where you might just you last needed... here. Oh, actually, you know what? I just, I just think it looks, like, too think. close here, bro. Like, you have to, like, you have like, to be a robot it, to isn't know. Isn't it only three casters? I see what you're saying, but isn't it only three mm. casters if, like, to hold the wave to like because the wave already came in is the thing i was thinking about that that there's no way the freeze can break because the second the cannon wave are crashing together right now and i already had six minions so i just killed some of them and i still leave two left which is technically not enough to freeze but you need um yeah more than three minions to hold the wave at a certain point for the next wave to come in and help the minions okay so just to freeze is just three like full hp range minions but with it's, them as well, you have to like. More. You can't do it with three. You have to full last hit them though. Yeah, like maybe four is like just more reliable, but you can do it on three. But they have to be full HP, and you have to full last hit them. Like I mean, mm -hmm. last hit, last hit. Yeah, um, yeah. So yeah, if it's full range, no worries. Like it's probably more reliable. Um, but but that's to hold the wave for the next wave, right? Yeah, that's if just the to wave's freeze, right? There, that's then it should be fine. Yeah, that's to keep it here. Like that's that's all we're thinking here. Like the. Like, as soon as I see this, right, I'm not really thinking about anything else, but Vayne, like, is fucking pushing this wave into you. Like, what does Vayne want to do here? What should she do? Um, what should Vayne and Soraka do? It's critical. Otherwise, the fucking lane's going to be hard for the next, like, 30 seconds to a minute. What do they have to well, do with should, this next wave? They have to shove, right? They have to shove, right? So your goal is to make it difficult for them, right? That's always your goal. That's why, like, we base our fucking runes on it, unless you think you can just, like, scale for friends stuff, which I think you can here. But we want to make it as hard as possible for them to play bot. With that mindset, and if you, like, you know, um, make decisions based on that, you're going to gap bot lane. So you don't have to rely on teammates as much. Because you're, you're the fucking diff. So, if she wants to crash this wave, how do you make it difficult for her? Zoning. Okay, you can zone. Zoning but her off. I could zone her off that melee. Rush yeah. could push. We saw Soraka go ward or whatever. She just warded, so... She's probably not in, like, a lane mindset because she just left the lane coming mm -hmm. back. I don't know. Okay, for sure. But in terms of the wave, 
Yagni, like what what would you want to like do here to make it difficult for them? Like, do you want to do you want to seize back the push? Do you want to keep it here? Do you want to let them crash? Like, what do you want to do with the minions? I want to keep it here. Okay, so that's what I'm saying. Like, just don't eat like this because you have to be a robot, bro, to know that damage is going to keep it here. I think that that's just impossible to know, right? This is it. Might sound weird, but. All you should do here, like I said, is just match the damage she throws at the wave. You only E when you know you have to. Yeah? Yeah. So, like, if fucking Soraka is here queuing the whole wave, which she should, Soraka should stand here and queue. And Vayne should just auto-attack like crazy. Then you can E. Of course, of course, of course, of course, of course. Maybe what you can do before is soften all the ranged minions up. So your E just, like, one-hits them and secures them. That's like maybe a mechanical thing, but fucking it might not even apply here, I'm just saying. Yeah, and like now using abilities is fine on the wave. Nice spacing, it's good. And and look at Thresh, right? So this is the thing. Look at the Thresh. It, like, look at the damage coming into the wave now from Vayne. She's auto-attacking a lot. The Soraka as well moves up there and queues two range minions. The Thresh hasn't auto-attacked once, right? So how do you get Thresh to help you here, try to keep the wave here? Tell him. Yeah, just tell him, just ping. That's it. It's a simple yeah, game, bro. Like, honestly, it's so simple. It's just about, like, fucking thinking about the right things. So making it difficult and then getting hard roll on side. Yeah. I don't, I don't disagree. It's just, it's frustrating to, like, I have to micromanage everything and then I have to get all the CS and, like, zone people out and then I have to babysit my fucking support to tell him to do, like, the correct thing. He's over here fucking watching Naruto in the bush. And <laughs> I'm just trying to fucking survive over here because I'm... I'm I'm not playing an eight. I'm not playing like a easy free low auto attack click character. I'm playing, you know, no. off meta. So I have to find my own way and carve my own path to, to get victories. And then, I just got that guy sitting in the bush doing nothing. Okay. Not protecting the wave, and it it, it tilts me. And then I just don't want to like, I don't know. And I've always been like, mm -hmm. like the way I've gotten like I don't know. I got to diamond like six years ago or whatever, and like I never would, like type or talk to my support. It would just be like. I would react based on what's happening, not proactively. Yeah, you just, you uh, just play the game. Yeah. Yeah. So um, it's it's been a habit that I've never been able to put into my gameplay. But I'm I mean I'm trying. Okay, let's let's think about this, right? Because I understand this. Um Do you think when you press fine match, right, and you get paired with someone in Master NA, do you think this guy's gonna be called JJ? No. Or Matter? That's really old nope. school. Sorry if that's too boomer. Um Right, okay. So you know this guy's not gonna be good. She's not good either. Pick told me she's he's not gonna be good, but But that's irrelevant, right? Like if he picks Thresh and he picks Thresh, it's your job to react to that stuff. And maybe yeah. it like changes to the dynamic of the lane, you should just know that. This player is not good. These are all the same yeah. players, Gagney. So the way you like get above Master Elo is by playing above it. One of those things sure. is probably micromanaging your support. Now, I'm not saying you, you full control him, right? Because that, like, fucking no one wants to do that, and no one's probably going to do that. I'm just saying, like, you ping simple shit. You want to move up. Let's ping on the way. It's one ping. True. You want to hold the wave up. Ask for assistance, ping a minion. Maybe even type in chat, hold. The game is mentally draining, bro. Or fucking getting... Hold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, is that a <laughs> ping now? Yep. <laughs> bro, I only know the bait ping. The fucking... <laughs> The hang yeah, ping for the a bait. Wave thing. Well, yeah, I didn't even know that. Oh my god. Um, yeah, like that. That's fucking great though. Like if you do that, right? Like it's mentally draining to fucking play that level, but that's what it is, man. That's just how it is. Like that's what the top level is, and if you want to get there, like it's just one part of the game that you have to do. Just communicating yeah. the the best move to your support who doesn't know about it. Like it's not Thresh's fault. Like trust me, he's trying, bro. He is trying his fucking best here. This is his best. You shouldn't be mad at him. It's just how it Please. is. That's how I should perceive it, at least, right? But it's true, though, no. Like, like I mean, he's no, gonna, he's not gonna, he's not gonna play like most a challenger. So players try their best in like half their games. Myself well, you, included, but... you might be right, but you're not trying your best here, because true. I know that you can just ping. It's not that difficult. Like my dad could jump on, and I could tell him like the hotkey for it, and he could do it. Yeah. That was a fucking weird like kind of analogy, but. You get what I'm saying though? Like it's it's effort, bro. Like it's fucking draining. Um, 
but yeah. you should just know that before you even press find match. So if you're not like up to it, then just don't don't play. Like that's it's, it's as simple as that. Like you have to be the diff. You have to put accountability on yourself. And if you're not like prepared to do it, then no, it's just wasting your time. Actually. Yeah, it's it's just like because I reckon you can, bro. Like that's the exciting thing. You can here. I don't think it's like too difficult. Yeah, you might have to think and focus a bit more, but that's about it. Okay, yeah, so this wave eventually crashes, right? So what you do is good. I just want you Eing after they start damaging as well, so you match. And also just pinging Thresh trying to hold the wave up. These auto attacks are fine because the next wave's coming in. Yeah, CSing is like... You missed so much having, CS this, this game. Was just a, this was an off game, I gotta be honest. I, my, my CSing game normally isn't that bad. Just but... remember you have tier, right? Like, you don't have D ring, so your damage to minions is gonna be less, yeah? So just, just is like... Is it? Tier has the same passive, though. Oh, yeah, I might have the same passive now. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you're right. Yeah, this they, is just I like... I think they removed it, then they added it back. <laughs> yeah, they People did... People were mad. <laughs> yeah, no, that's that's true. Um, But fucking... uh, Yeah, this is just like... full. Like, I don't think it's that difficult to last two minions. There's no pressure on you from Sorak or Vayne, so... Yeah, it's just... Getting in the habit. Just concentration, man. I mean, I was up CS, even... I mean, I end up being like... I, mm. uh, spoiler alert, I end up like... <laughs> oh and six or something at like 20 minutes which you'll oh, see right. as soon as we get to level six how bad this goes but uh i was still up cs even though i was literally down like four kill or four deaths or something okay so, well so how are you yeah you're I mean, even now CS, i'm so. still up cs so i mean like but again like that's the that's but, like I mean, the level one fight right yeah that's like the level one fight like her cs doesn't actually mean anything honestly true um, because if you can improve, then that's all we care about. Like, Vayne having 36 yeah, yeah. CS, if she has 37, doesn't actually change anything. If she has 45, it doesn't change anything. Um, right, yeah, fucking, you should definitely What's just slow push What's a good metric, this. then? What do you think, then? If I shouldn't compare myself to, like, who, like, how should I compare? To, like, should I get my average and find out and just, like, compare yeah, just... myself to my average, or what? Yeah, bro, that's it. Because, I mean, I don't, I don't think it's really fair to be, like, let's just average mm. versus another like challenger no ADC yeah player, but i don't i don't play adc really <laughs> yeah it's unique for victor right but i still think you can play bot lane which is the point so you have access to like minions so in this game it's just like percentages let's just say there's 50 minions you've seen we've got 36 of them and honestly you were probably pressured for fucking one of them maybe zero so we've missed uh, like two waves right Mm -hmm. so that's all that's like all i think about right like vain csing has nothing to do with like rcs hasn't impacted like us missing them because there's been no pressure on us so we should easily have like 45 i reckon you missed like so much right and it probably just comes down to like focus on victor as well super fucking important because you're scaling like getting cs is, is scaling yeah um so you doing this here what the fuck you've already got your e holy shit a broken champion um yeah bro hey wait 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 i just realized that's why hey that's why i went for the rengar play duh obviously uh let me just remember <laughs> real quickly hey the stacks half stacks already level bro, one you, that's insane you're 100 percent new at six and a half you were gonna do this um yeah with the with this wave like do you think like hard pushing this is doable yeah as soon as i got the e upgrade i was like let's let's commit <laughs> to start pushing okay i don't mind it Choking because them out is what i wanted to do this is um this is honestly fucking good, but there's a couple of like things here, right? So the E's great because you hit like as many minions as possible. So why are you good. hezzing? But yeah, and you're also gonna have eight six five gold for for lost chapter. So I fucking really like it. But again, your your buddy over there has has gone missing. If you want to shove the wave, get him here to help you shove it quicker, right? That's that's just like what I want you to do from now on because his auto attacks like on that range minion soften it up. So it, it might be like three seconds a diff. It doesn't sound that much, but it is. It is a diff, mm -hmm. and it's going to matter, like, against fucking hell good players, and in this elo, it will matter even more, because they're worse. Yeah. You doing this, just, just base it. Like, why, do, why are we going to a reward and hitting this ward? Like, we can just get lost chapter, and... Like, bro, this crash is five-head. It's like a cheat crash, in a is way. Is it a crash? I just didn't think it was going to be crash. Yeah, that's why, crash. That's why I'm that's saying, why I... like, you have to have Thresh here help you, yeah? Because fucking, yeah, when okay, I see you... I see what you're saying. So as soon should, as the wave... Should have, it should have crashed, is what you're saying. Yeah, I mean, I don't think you do still, because maybe Vayne and Soraka are still in lane. So I actually think I you think just hold recall. this... 
Yeah, she might have recalled, but unless you know 100% gain, like, I should just think, bro, you just hold this wave up. But I'm just saying, in the future, like, if you want to fucking crash this, like, here, you could be auto-attacking, and we don't. So I'm like, oh, he's not, and now he starts to E. So the E is great, perfect. You hit every single minion, or as many as you can, right? So the actual yeah. mechanics here are good with your E, but you don't auto-attack enough before, and Thresh has gone, has gone missing, he's in Narnia. Like, this is essential, bro. Like, the wave is so important here. So wave first. Yeah, because if you do that, the wave is now like here. Mm -hmm. And it will actually crash. And you can base for lost chapter. You've mashed the vein in tempo. It's actually fucking smart. Um, but yeah, we've sh like just pushed too slowly. So now we have to like follow the wave in. And here, like going, it doesn't mean anything, bro. Because look at the position of the wave. Yeah, like you have to crash this ASAP. And Thresh even pings here, right? Like Thresh has actually turned on his, you know, the, the brain. He's right. Like you should not be here hitting the ward. It's the last thing like you should be doing. You can see this? Oh my god, there it is. Just W right away, yeah? Yep. Twitch going back 10 seconds. Rip. Yeah, just W right away. Are you silenced? Yeah, you're not silenced there, so just W. Good spacing, nice. So, this situation, gang, no doubt, bro. Like, be honest with me. You thought, what, like, Thresh here, or you played, like, perfectly? Maybe you didn't. I'm just saying, like, I reckon you did. Or you couldn't have done um, anything else. Yeah, I don't think there's... Yeah, I think it was... I mean, besides taking Scorch. <laughs> I, think, yes. I think Scorch might have been the edge. He was really low. I think that 15 damage might have mattered a little bit. Right. But the reason Thresh dies, right, isn't because he's bad. It's simply because you didn't shove quick enough. Yeah? And maybe you have to micromanage Thresh there to hit the wave. That's why the lane is in a shit position. Because if the wave is crashed, you're not in lane. Like, you've got lost shouts running out of base, right? Yeah. So the question is, like, why are we still in lane in a bad position? Why can Vayne chase us down here? Because we didn't crash. So as soon as that wave comes in, so you have to have, like, intention, bro, even before the next wave comes in. Like, this is what I'm doing. How you're going to do it? You auto-attack straight away. You fucking eat the minions like you did perfectly. Maybe you save Q just in case someone, like, goes on you or something like that if the enemy champs are in lane. Or you just use Q to, like, damage the minions, right? And all of a sudden, the wave has crashed, like, before you know it, and you've got a reset. So that death of Thresh doesn't happen. If you do that properly. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, you getting Oblivion Orb here, like, just, just pointless, right? Like, it just stalls your scaling, to be honest. Like, I would want to get... Well, like, what are you going to get this game? Leandris or something? Leandris, probably, right? Uh, I think so, yeah. Yeah, so you want to get Leandris. So, I would much rather get Leandris... 800 gold sooner than 800 gold later. So Lost Chapter, into Codex, into Leandris, into Boots. Then you can think about getting like Morellos later, right? If you really want it. You don't think Oblivion Orb is worth in a Soraka? With nah, Orb? man, I don't think it does anything for you. Like, personally. Like, you, Victor, as a champ, like, it's, it's just stalling stuff. Like, maybe you would get in mid lane against Silas's and stuff, but even then, like, you've just got Lost okay, Chapter there. Then, like who, what do I, what is, like, I just, the, what I saw is when I recalled, and I opened tab, I didn't even see me open tab, and I look, and I go, okay, who's buying anti-heal? It's gonna be me. It's not gonna be Thresh. Thresh but you, can't. But you, yeah, he can't, but, like, you don't have to buy it yet, is what I'm saying. I'd much rather you get that. It looks so juicy. Oh, look at this. Oh, now we can get Leandris quicker, which is, it's not an anti-heal, but it's still good. And then after that, you can get Orb. I just think, just get to Mythic here. I would much rather you, like, if I'm the enemy, like, if I'm vain, buy an orb, bro. Like, that is honestly just, like, irrelevant, to be honest. Because even your identity is, like, all in, right? And you're getting an orb, which, like, Soraka's healing, okay, but I'm stacking tempo. Like, the healing doesn't even matter. I just win an all in. Uh, yeah, I just think it's just, like, a waste. Just just get Lost Chapter into Leandris, and, and you're chilling, bro, after that. If you really think, like, the healing is a thing, then, of course, you can get orb after that, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, we come back to lane. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, you don't have to ward around here, right? Like you did last time when you came back to a slow push because Thresh is here, yeah? Just remember, if you're coming back to lane on your own and you're scared of enemy jungle, put a ward down before you show. You think starting, um... 
I think instead of tier, if I start, uh, I think it's possible to start Sapphire Crystal. And then, like, if I'm running TP, and then just, like, get my Lost Chapter and, like, try and survive long enough to get Lost Chapter and then, like, just grab it and TP back. I fucking like then... it, actually, if you get Sapphire Refill. Because it's just a free lane, yeah? Yeah, if it's a free lane, I guess. Yeah. Oh, la -la -la. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Still like D-ring stuff. It's kind of hard to last it, but I mean, as long as I take TP, I can just like spend my mana as much as I want and then yeah. grab it. That's only 800 gold, so. I still think sure. D-ring start is good because if you're taking, I mean, the AP you get is like pretty good. And if you're taking first strike, right, which I think you should, it just amplifies the gold you get because you deal more damage, right? Sapphire does nothing. Unless you're playing Rise, like fucking Rise is obviously like Sapphire start, but um, yeah, I take yeah. that back. Don't start Sapphire. Start this. And uh, laning phase is just more difficult because you have more AP, so you're stronger, and it just amplifies first strike. Yeah, I've, I've been avoiding D-Ring a whole lot because, I don't know, mm -hmm. maybe it's maybe it's just because I, I like to to the crutch tool of, yeah, I, I go Oom a lot. Right, well, that's, that's not like a D-Ring thing, right? That's just a you thing using cooldowns. Like, guarantee it. True. Um, here, I, like I when... I sort of convince myself that I need to use... Mm -hmm. My cooldowns more than not, though. Oh, yeah. But maybe that's just like a boot camp to restructure my mindset on yeah. using abilities. That's it, bro. Like, you think you have to spam, like, abilities. It's, like, even if you have abilities up, sometimes, like, you create more pressure by just not using them. Here as well, by the way, W. Let's throw a W down. Like, like fucking ping the Thresher or just to do anything to Soraka when she moves up. Yeah. Um. Also here, like, if you know you're going to take poke, just Q the minion to shield yourself. So if you're not going to W her, like this, you can actually just run towards her here and W. Shouldn't even click back. Yeah. Um, just cue the minion. So it's like quick shit, but... All you have to do, game, like, in terms of mechanics, you're just, like, flicking your mouse towards shit. So as soon as, like, Soraka makes that move, because it's happened so quick, right? You can yeah. just quickly flick your W at her. Like, W. Like this. Yeah. Oh, yeah, having a laugh, bro. Having a laugh. Yeah, I was mad that Thresh was standing behind me like a little fucking Karen <laughs> girl. But... <laughs> yeah, you just got to ping him, man. That's it. The reason he's doing it, he's not trying to troll you. You shouldn't get mad at him. He's he's trying to win. He is trying his best. You should not get mad at him here. But just yeah. help him. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, he was trying his best right there too, right? <laughs> he was so really, toxic, bro. <laughs> really gunning for that Soraka. <laughs> so fucking toxic. <laughs> a little bit. A little bit. The boys but, are here, though. Oh, glad no, you muted the bot, because I was very unhappy. <laughs> Bro, like, I'm going to be honest, you've been like frowning the whole lighting phase, but... That's yeah, how I play as well. Yeah, my last game, I... I this, the, the game before, I didn't grab... I took... I was autofill top lane two games before, and mm. I had grasp or whatever, for because oh, I God. played Chen, and then I forgot mm. to swap runes. Oh, okay, and, yeah, that's... that's. And then when you... See, it's not even that bad, honestly. It was actually goaded as hell. It was working. I wouldn't commit to the grasp ADC Victor Tech, but it wasn't terrible. Like I was, yeah, get, I had run... like fifteen procs at like ten minutes or whatever. It was good. And then, uh, mm. but then my Pike autofilled Pike support was like he sees Victor with grasp bot lane, and he just fucking lost his mind and just constantly pinging me and pissing me off, and we we didn't even win. So. Okay, yeah, I mean, like, so I was, it, that, I that's... From the last game. That pike, though, bro, is, like, how you're going to be in most games if you're mad at this Thresh. Like, supports are not going to play, like, that differently to this Thresh, you know? So if you're getting mad at him, you're going to be mad, like, every game. It's just, like, just readjust your mindset that he's going to be bad. You know that. And if he does yeah. anything good, you should be fucking throwing a party. Um, yeah, this E is just... Like, we've talked about, like, this E before, right? I only did it because... I, like literally our whole team is here <laughs> and they uh i don't know maybe they didn't say anything but i i just thought we were gonna dive how are you gonna dive by crashing this wave because i can just instantly wipe out the entire backline minions and then we just like wait 15 more seconds and then boom it's a dive right do you know if rengar is bot side or top side well it doesn't matter if we're four versus three and we have victor thrush diana like we have insane aoe output I don't see how we could possibly lose a dive here. I mean, maybe, but Plus why not? to assassinate whoever's gonna, like, I don't know, pop off. Maybe maybe you kill them in a dive, right? But there's a lot of fog. 
Syndra can maybe run down and get here in time. But isn't the easier option just to let them push? Just wait like a little bit? Like we don't have to like fucking True. just crash. Like just let them push here. Like they're gonna hang I'm themselves. Seeing that, yeah, I could let them push. Yeah, because the next wave is gonna a, be your uh, side. My mind's telling me no Lee Sin moment where I just saw a fat wave standing in a direct line for my E and I just ate it anyways. Yeah, like Z like monkey brain kind of thing. Zed, I thought he was actually pinging here like question mark or Diana is or some shit. I would honestly just like spam ping you for that. Like I'm not even joking. Like it might sound toxic, but if I'm Zed here and I see you do that, I'm like now I've got to wait another wave, right? Because you've got to crash one more wave. Because the next wave is like too closer. You can't yeah, crash that wave on your own. If they let it come in, then they can just come in behind, yeah. Yeah, that's it, man. Like, I would I would honestly just like ping that. It's it's kind of troll. It might sound toxic again, but there's just no reason to do that. No, fair is fair. Because you're wasting Zed's time, right? As well. Like, if I'm Zed, I want to make a play bot. The wave looks super good. It's pushing towards you and the wave's gone. Yeah, a wave pushing towards you just as hard as it is pushing in is just as good for a dive. Yeah, you can just leave it, right? And if you do want to actually, if the only option there is to dive, right? Because you would only it's crash even that. even better because we don't have to kill the tower because they either lose the entire wave or, and then, mm. or they die for it, you know? Yeah. So if they were like playing hell far back because they know someone's here, right? And you're like, well, now we can't kill them by the slow push. Now we have to crash. That's when you would crash. But look what they're yeah. playing. Like, I don't think they know Diana and Zed are here, bro. Especially the Vayne. You can just leave mm -hmm. it. Just chill. This wave crash it. Why would I say, like, crash this wave, which you do? So why did your instinct kick in, kick in here to crash? Because we already have, like, we're not going to set up a freeze, right? For them? Yeah, like, slow pushing, um... Like, it's already coming in. He's got five melees, and I think he had four... Casters? Oh no, he had regular melees. So, because because you could stack this right and then shove next, like you could just last it. But I like shoving because it's kind of what we talked about before, right? Like, what do we? Can you remember at level five? So before Thresh died, like the wave was here, yeah. Yeah. What was like one of the reasons why I said like I love shoving this wave because you had what? Might be a weird question, but yeah. Uh, I'm drawing a blank. I don't remember the scenario. So it's just because you had gold for Lost Chapter. So this wave is going to give you like 100, 110 gold, and you're going to have Lost Chapter, right? So if we can base, or if we can shove a minion wave, sorry, then we have to think, well, if I can shove this, what am I actually going to get out of it? You get Lost Chapter. And you actually shove this properly. See, that was perfect. I'm just wondering like where that's been for the last, you know, eight minutes of lane. Yeah? Yeah. Look, it's a nice crash, and now you can just recall. Like, you don't even have to follow this in. Like, why, why are you here? Also, like, your, your Diana's gone topside here, so maybe Rengar is some sort of threat. Vayne comes back to lane with item diff. Like, you have to recall here to match the Vayne as well, right? You'll there's see. You'll there's see, nothing, I guess. There's nothing stopping the Vayne. You're going to tell us this is a mistake. I mean, yeah, this is fucking just super troll. Like, I don't even care if you fucking get four kills. <laughs> I can't run away. She's just I'm... no. Yeah, it's just funny. Yeah, yeah. Because I can tell you're tilted as fuck now. <laughs> I, I, even if I wasn't tilted, I would just stand there. There's, I'd be like, what am I gonna do? Like, just get the she, wave, bro. Just, just try, and try to get the minions. She's already or ahead of me. Like, I'm gonna flash forward. I might as well take my hands on my keyboard so I can't make any more mistakes. <laughs> yeah, that's that's true. But um, does that make sense though? But like, here, just just no, just no, take no. Your base. I, I agree, hundred percent. Like, need to take this play. Yeah, I mean, even if even if your play was to take the tower play, the point is, like, Vayne is just so close to lane here, and you should know this, because she's based. So, yeah. again, you just match her. You're on a base. I don't know, I think... Yeah, I'm seeing it. It's if just, you get 160 like, I, so, gold, what does it, it mean? Wasn't, I, I was just following... It wasn't... No, I don't even think it was... Thresh, if, moving if up? Yeah, it was Thresh moving up. I'm like... I don't know, I'm just so in the mindset of, like, how I want bot lane to be played is... The support makes the plays because, you know, they're literally standing there doing fucking nothing the entire time. I'm managing the wave, you know? So that's where my brain is, is fully on the wave. And our and my thresh, my support should be on making plays. And so I just ape brain followed him because I see him walking up. I'm like, okay, I'll walk up because, you know, that's what you should do. Ideally, obviously. I should consider whether or not it's a good idea to walk up. And it wasn't, Runner, you're right. One, five, but uh, five, I, just, yeah. I just committed to his play and... Okay, so 
one of like the one of the overarching themes of like these sessions I'm doing is people with weird mindsets concepts going into games. Mm-hmm. Have you seen like how we've found optimal moves here? Now I don't fucking know what's gonna happen in a game gang. I've got no idea. All I know here is that the information I've got, Vayne's coming back to lane with an item diff. She spent more gold. You've got lost chapter. The way's crashing, so tick, everything's ticked here. And your mindset is, well, my thresh is staying and, you know, there's some sort of pressure on you to make a play. And I'm just like, bro, what? Like, that's honestly, like, what I'm thinking in my head. Yeah? Like, mm-hmm. if I'm live coaching you, though, I'm going to scream at you until you press base. I don't care if you'll yeah. fucking support pings on the way. Like, that's where you have to be the better player, bro. And you play for yourself. Like, the support's job, let me put it this way. Bot lane, if I'm supporting, and I've done a bunch of it in, like, Chow, if my AD carry is fucking fed, that's my job. That's my job. Now, of course, there are certain identities, right? You're playing Alistair. You put, play Alistair differently than you play Soraka. Of course. But all of this shit stays the same, regardless of what support you have. You're on a back timer. The Vayne's coming back to lane with item diff. You've crashed. Recall. I don't care who the support is or what they're doing. You ping them off. Does that make sense? Yeah. I don't know it's like hard, man, to like, yeah, it's fucking draining. I get it. And it's not easy to to get out of like this elo. In terms of actual like, I think it is easy. Like fucking, I don't think it's like too difficult. Like serious. But it's just um, like, it's just like stamina, I guess, or discipline, whatever you want to call it. You just have to have it, right? For sure, yeah. But but I think I like agree. you playing you playing like reactionary to what's happening in the game because you don't know for sure what's gonna happen is way better than going into a game with like weird mindsets and stuff. Like all I see here is you have a thresh support, so you think about how maybe the lane might look and stuff for sure. But until the waves are actually in lane and Vayne is in lane, you don't know how a lane is going to play out. No one does. Otherwise, fucking, like, if everyone could do that, everyone would be challenger, right? Because you can predict the future. It's impossible. Um, okay, so Thresh is gone. Do you know Rengar's, like, not on the map? Did, did we see Rengar? So is he top, or...? Because we die, right? Bro, I legit hope, I hope you die to Rengar. I'll see him, like, so smart. <laughs> no, I don't think I do. I don't think Rengar Rengar only kills me after he's fourteen and zero or some shit. Right. Okay. <laughs> if but I remember correctly, this was seven days ago, so I am okay. Right. Way in a way different mindset than post two games of terror. Oh, by the way, like how good is Oblivion or like in that dive all in? My lost chapter, you probably kill. I mean, yeah, true. No, I don't. No, okay. Actually, I don't actually believe. How much does Oblivion Orb actually give you? Because I don't believe in Oblivion Orb supremacy. I think I actually have more AP here than if I had Oblivion or than I had Lost Chapter. Lost, Lost Chapter, Chapter is, only is what? thirty, I think, right? And then like and ten Oblivion ability has is twenty five, right? Or something? Oh, I'm checking right now. I'll check. Have a check. But yeah, the point is like Cause, fucking cause Oblivion Orb does I've nothing, done right? Is I will uh, I'll buy tier, mm. and then instead of going for Lost Chapter because I have enough mana, I will always buy a. Oh, that's AP. probably why you get baited by... Right. A, yeah, because you have tier as well. Yeah, fuck that. Yeah, don't don't start tier, I don't think, right? Oblivion Orb is... Like, it's 35 AP, and then I bought Oblivion Orb plus a Amp Tome. So that's 20. So it's 55 versus 40. So I had 15 more AP, actually. So, and you still can kill it, though, right? Like, it's just fucking... Like, the, the heal... And like, even I also if... had healing reduction, too. Yeah, and you still can't kill her. So, True. like... You know, it's just just get to get to Lee Andrews, bro. Um, yeah, right. Like I'm like here. Like, what's stopping Rengar? Because it's ten minutes. If he's not level six, then he's been paid by someone. What's stopping it's Rengar not a to like kill you? Scenario for me to not be able to kill post six though. This is like one of the few times that I've ever been like baffled that we can't duo kill one person under tower like this. But she has bone plating, right? And you go in on bone plating and. Like I don't know. I can't. Yeah. Okay. So Thresh. I mean, she not. was gonna die. She actually leveled up. Okay, but like after Thresh died. But if you kill her, you both die to Vayne anyway. Be, but... Like Vayne's Vayne's right here, right? True. No, I I stuff I definitely still die here. I guess. At yeah. Least so you trade one for two. And it's like trading like that one for one. I, I also I'm... don't think Thresh played it perfectly. I think he 
Like he right. should have initialized with hook into flay instead of flay into hook. I wanted I put down the W because I thought he was gonna Q. Right, but he then... does everything fine here. Like why would he why would he throw a hook out that she can dodge? Like he, his flay in your he's W like guarantees right on a hook. Top of her, isn't he? Well, first of all, he can just like auto and flay, right? So he can auto flay and then just hook into your W, which right, the thresh does fucking nothing like really wrong here. Um, well, he didn't auto attack either, but well, he doesn't auto attack, but bro, like, doesn't it change the outcome? Like, the fucking outcome is you well, both get actually, double killed. She would have died, but <laughs> all right, I, I'm still a little bit miffed about it. You're right, it's all, it's still all garbage. I should have recalled, bro. If I'm the Soraka here, character. I am fucking thanking you for making that play. Like, why are you diving me when Vayne's right here off a reset? And if, if I was like, see your gold here as Soraka, I'd be like, what the fuck? Like, he just crashed the wave and didn't recall for a chapter. Oh, you know, like, that's in my head. Like, now my Vayne has two extra kills, which is my job, because you, like, maybe it's mindset or something, but the Thresh, like, mechanically there has nothing to do with, like, the outcome of that. Maybe you kill Soraka, but it's still shit. It's yeah, still fucking agree. terrible. Like, now Vayne's gonna 1v9. Um, yeah, we pretty much, like, have have almost done bro do you have like any questions about anything else like maybe matchup oriented or anything about anything about the game you can say no not really i mean i just like i don't know the like one thing that's different about victor that i've been trying to struggle with is like hmm. is that i'm i'm always going to be like a level behind regular victors and if you know anything mm -hmm. about Victor, he sort of has problems with like one shotting waves based on like how much AP or whatever you have. So yes. I've been trying to experiment with like a like a D mat to like be able to one shot waves whenever I get to like a position that's sufficient for me to one shot a wave. But okay. I don't always know when I sh like should I just run D mat every game to be no. like to be on the same strength of like other other Victor no, 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 players. No. In, in this lane, you would probably run biscuits. Because, like, Soraka is just sustain, right? So, I think you run first strike. Footwear, yeah? Probably not even footwear. Like, what would you run? Oh, you probably would. What is it? Footwear, stopwatch, and the other one is something shit, yeah? I mean, I could if you say that, uh... I don't know. I've never considered regular boots to be that bad of a buy in. Yeah, no, I agree. Um, So, first strike, and then I just can't remember what, like, this one is. But it's there's stopwatch, stopwatch, uh, hex flash, and boots. I think hex. Yeah, maybe it's hex flash. I can't fucking remember. Yeah, it's hex flash. But yeah, like if you take first strike here, then you go first strike. You go whatever here, um, and then you take D mat into like just tough lanes that are gonna push you in, pretty much, because you can control minion waves, right? That's where D mat's like really useful. So if you're playing Victor mid against Zoe, you run D mat. Yeah, in this lane you've got. I, I have no clue. I literally. I don't know. That, I that's... never played in Victor mid lane. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah. That, well, I'm just like telling you, like that's how it works. You run like Dmat into like lanes that are probably going to shove you in, and it's going to be annoying. So poke bot lanes, right? If you're against Ash or like Senna, like you said, or Zerath, um, Dmat is is useful, yeah. But in this lane, because it's like sustain base and Vayne, just you don't give a fuck about. Um, you said push lanes, right? Because do you think? Yeah, pushy poke lanes. I, that... I've described how Victor works is that I get pushed in quite, quite a lot. Yeah, which is obvious because I'm playing not a an auto attack based character, and yeah, the enemy always plays an auto attack based character. So, like, do you think I should run D map like significantly more than mid then? But I don't. It just like, depends on the lane. Like, I don't. I don't know if it's going to be significantly more. I'm just saying, like, just think about the matchups. So if you're against Karma, like thinking K about characters that would push me in, Lucianami always pushes me in. Draven, anything pushes me in. Um. Maybe like Jin and like uh, Jinx are bearable to like not be pushed in. Um, this lane, of other characters like like heavy poke lanes, bro, that are gonna like make it hard for you to contest minions. Like here, you don't have to worry right about controlling minions with Dmat. Um, I'm not sure about the tech on Victor in terms of like Dmatting for damage, so you one shot. But I don't think it's actually like that kind of important. I think biscuits would actually just like hold more value because you're gonna be in lane for probably a while against the Soraka. So having like resources like mana, like your mana pool is everything, right? So yeah, just fucking run D mat against maybe like just test it out, bro. Like you'll just like know if it feels good. I'm not telling you like it's a hundred percent good, because it comes down to like the player at the end of the day, like some of these runes, probably preference. 
Like, for instance, like, not every fucking Shaco player is going to run Relentless Hunter. Some might run, like, Treasure Hunter or something, because they feel it's, like, better. So just run DMAT in some lanes. Like, if you're against Senna, Zerath, Karma, yeah? These type of chants, just yeah. run it. See how it feels. Um, and as far as... um, Actually, yeah, that's what I think I wanted to say, because I wrote something down here. Um, but yeah, yeah, I just think Electrocute is a massive waste here. Like, I didn't want to be, like, too fucking, like, blunt. With you, like, just straight up, but I, I don't even know what it's done. I mean, I, I'm okay with that criticism. This is, like I mm. said, I, this is the first Electrocute. Actually, it's not really the first. I, I think I played an Electric... No, no, no. Yeah, no, it's the first Electrocute game in uh, a few hundred games. I've only done Electrocute into, like... Mm -hmm. I think I do it with Pike more often than not. Usually because Pike is more so an all-in character. Yeah, but I mean... I should consider playing... Like, it I just... don't know, I try and synergize with the character I'm laning with, but if you think that it's, I should just play the Victor's strength of just always being a perma cannon, I, I'm not going to say that word just in case you uh, don't <laughs> like that word on your stream. <laughs> uh, That's perma, bro. unfortunate uh, circumstance, mm -hmm. Victor style of play where you just constantly e-spam people. Yes. You play towards that, bro. Like, your support... Um. First of all, like, hover Victor and champ select, by the way, so they know. Um, and you can even, like, type to them in champ select. Like, if you can influence the Thresh to pick Karma here, which you're happier with, why not? Makes actually playing sorry, on the Rift sorry, easier. Sorry, ask that question again? <laughs> so, no, I'm just saying, like, if you're in champ select, right? Like, you're telling me Victor's poke, which is right. Like, I'm telling you, like, he's a fucking, like, annoying lane kind of bully. Bot laner might be a little bit different or a little, little less of a bully, because you're right. Um, like, attack damage are champions and shit. But... What I'm saying is, like, even in champ select, hover Victor, so your support knows. And if he's hovering Thresh, like, ask for something like Karma or, like, your top three supports. And all of a sudden, one, when you get on the Rift, it's just five, easier. Five, line. Yeah, and all you've, yeah. all you've done is just hover Victor. That's it. No, I've got my own PowerPoint or whatever that displays my favorite, like, supports or whatever, but... Yeah, but Thresh doesn't know this. So tell him. No, no, like, no. I, I like post the PowerPoint in the champ select and stuff. Oh, holy shit! Yeah, okay. I mean, yeah, just, I'm I one just... of those guys. Oh, you're. That's... I've I've found that that more often than not tilts my team because they think it's a meme and I'm not being serious. But yeah, just so. just type to them, bro. Just hold a victor and just um 